Hi, my name is Gail Berry. I am the founder of Blossom and Berry, which is a seven-figure uh, teacher training business teaching the power of love and nurturing care to parents and babies around the world. Over the last 20 years, I've impacted millions of babies through our global family of over 2,000 teachers. And I want to talk to you about how I made the leap into entrepreneurship as a new mother and deciding to leave call prep. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this is because I know for a lot of women, um, corporate doesn't always align with having children. And it can put a lot of strain on you, your family, your relationships. Um, it can be expensive to get childcare to cover corporate hours. And there's always an, a sense of not having control because in the corporate environment that I worked in the city as a lawyer, client came first, hours were long. You stayed till you got it done and that simply did not align with how I wanted to be a mother or raise my children. When I had my daughter, I was only 27. I was pretty young in the city, so it was pretty unusual at that age to give it all up. I'd trained for seven years to be a corporate finance lawyer. I had an amazing job with fantastic prospects, but it was misaligned. And when I got pregnant with my daughter, Emily, I realised how much you know, how important it was for me to be there with her, to be present, to enjoy my life and to honour my values of family and love and connection. And it just was not going to match with working in corporate. And so I made the big decision to leave my corporate job and to train as an infant massage instructor and make the leap into entrepreneurship. Now, that was a really big thing to do. It was the best decision I ever made because here I am 22 years later with the most incredible relationship with my three children. I had three children in three and a half years, which was pretty full on, but absolutely fabulous. I got to spend that time with them. I was relaxed. I was able to hang out, play, enjoy um, all the all the wonderful things about being a parent, um, be there for school pickups, drop-offs, school holidays, basically just look after myself as well. So I had more capacity to be an amazing parent because I was not stressed out. I was enjoying it and I was in flow. So I have that amazing experience and I love my children and I like my children. My children still live with me. We go on holiday together. We have fe we go to festivals together. They are like my best friends. That's my best, best, best relationship because I invested in that relationship over and above everything else in my life. And for me personally, that has brought the most amount of happiness and enjoyment and abundance in my life. And it's also inspired me to create my business because that was in alignment with being with my family and it also my particular business supports other families it supports other mothers other fathers other carers and it helps all human beings reach their full potential in the first 1001 days of life through love and nurturing care so it actually has exploded into advocacy on mental health talking on global stages writing best-selling books um being a TEDx speaker, beyond my wildest dreams, travel, adventure, creativity, collaborations, building my own team, like all of the most beautiful things that I can imagine that are infused with freedom and creativity. And that came from making that decision to honour my heart and follow that path. But I know it can be hard because Making that leap, it means letting go, letting go of an old identity of yourself, letting go of perhaps financial security, letting go of status, letting go of education or training, letting go of your friends. It is huge. And you've just had a baby, so it can be feeling pretty uh, chaotic already because you're not maybe you're not too sure who you are. But I'm here to say that that is all normal because whenever you make a big change in your life, Everything inside of you, like your whole ego, your conscious mind is going to be saying, don't do it, don't do it, don't, it's, it's not safe, don't jump, don't jump. <laughs> you know, our ego is here to protect us, to try to control situations, to try to avoid us getting hurt. But our heart really knows the way. And it's when we're in a heart-driven path, when we're aligned with our heart and our desires and our creativity, that things come into our life that are beyond our wildest dreams. Like, for example, everything that's happened with Blossom and Berry – you know, when I set that intention 20 years ago with two parents in my front room, I could never have imagined. 
that I would have a global business um, impacting millions of babies every day. But it did because I trusted and I let go and I surrendered my old identity to allow myself to be the version of me that I wanted to be in that moment and continually connecting with myself to be the version of me in every moment. So I want to share with you the three things that I did that allowed me to make that uh, jump from corporate into um, entrepreneurship with ease. So number one is that on my maternity leave, I did loads of research and I started training in what it was I wanted to do. So whilst I was at home with my daughter, I was doing various courses to train as a pregnancy massage therapist, as an infant massage teacher. I was learning about the holistic well-being and that gave me the confidence as I kept, kept connecting with the subject. I kept getting full body yeses. Yes, 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 this is it. Yes, this is it. So the first bit of advice is get geeky about what it is you want to do. Now, if you're drawn in some way to training with Blossom and Berry, go over and take uh, you know, all of our free resources, listen to my podcast, watch my other YouTube videos, take my free course, which is called um, How to Set Up a Parent and Baby Wellness Business. Um, like, Do all of the groundwork so that you are already manifesting and becoming that version of you. Don't wait until you've gone back to work because that can feel super overwhelming because you're at work and you've got a new baby and then you're trying to consider what to do. So just start dipping your toe in. You know, like if you're interested in baby massage, for example, read my baby massage handbook, my bestseller on Amazon, watch some of the videos, take one of our courses. That will help you to see if you are aligned with this work. Now, the second thing that I did was I actually went back to work for six months part time because I wanted to make sure that um, it was the right thing to do. I wanted to be able to close the door on my corporate career and know that that was right. Now, what is really useful about this advice is a lot of people say you just got to leap into it. It doesn't have to be that way. You can have a little bit of a dance between the two. That's what I did. And it meant that by the end of that six months I'd gone back to work, I was 100% certain that I did not want to go back to work um, as a project finance lawyer. And I had had another six months to prepare setting up my business and that involved for me like moving out of London, um, starting to like they didn't have websites back then because it was like 20 years ago but starting to kind of create flyers and very very simple branding nothing like today was just laughing at how crap my first branding was actually um so I was doing all of that so that the it wasn't I, I didn't rip the plaster off put it that way I very gently put medicine on the wound to heal it every single day if you see what I mean I didn't I didn't put myself through that extreme pendulum swing and I think it's good to talk about that as an option I mean some people some people who train with us are just like full body yes I'm in that's it some people go half and half. Some people do study with us because they actually want to learn the information in their parenting journey to, to use it with their own children. So there's so many different ways you can do it. But that would be number two is to consider, you know, to consider going half and half and not overwhelming yourself. And then number three is to really then enjoy the fact that you have chosen to have commitment to you, your business, entrepreneurship, creativity, freedom, all of the wonderful things entrepreneurship offers you, but also that you are actually with your baby or your child. Because I often see people then repeating the same patterns of corporate, but doing it in entrepreneurship. So working too hard, perfectionism, pushing themselves, self-sabotage, self-judgment, all of these things. You get to design your life. You get to design how you are with your family. So it's about really letting go of the subconscious programming and patterns that you might have from corporate that you're bringing into your own business. And that's why at Blossom and Berry, a big part of what I help people do is actually, how do I set up a business? How do I set up a business with ease and flow? How do I set up a business that works around my kids? How do I set up a business that feels good in my body? How do I set up a business that is creative and full of joy? Because it's totally possible, because otherwise I wouldn't have been in my business day in, day out for the last 20 years. I know this stuff and I can help you. So 
Uh, if you've been inspired by this, I hope you have. This is my story. You can find out more about my story on my website, blossomandberry.com, or you can listen to my podcast, which is called Nurturing the Future, 1001 Days to Save the World on Spotify. We have a free course on our website about beginning to teach baby massage, or we have a course, a mini course, which is about how to kickstart your parent and baby wellness business. I am the world's leading business baby business mentor. I'm an expert in what I do. I love empowering other women to um, serve themselves, serve their families, um, be in their passion and purpose and serve community. That's what I'm all about. So if you've been inspired, come connect, come book a call with me, let's talk. Or if you know a new parent who might want to hear this right now, who is in that position, tag and share, subscribe to the podcast. Let's keep in touch and let me know below what you think. Okay. I hope I'm going to be connecting with you super soon. See you later.